It's been a while since we've worked on our Minecraft, so I think we should do that today. Also, it's bothering me that my armor isn't all matching, and there's literally no good reason for it. There we go, netherite pants. Much better. As for our zoo, this is how it's looking on the map. Basically all the areas with brown paths are the zoo. We've got heaps of enclosures. I'd say we only need a couple more episodes to finish this thing. Wouldn't you say so, mushrooms? Yes, they agree. This area we're in here is actually pretty done, but it's when we get over to the axolotl that it's um less done. So over here, it just kind of ends. But if we were to mark this out, it could come down the hill and join up with this. Another slightly unfinished area. But right now, let's join up this path and then we can add some enclosures. Okay, we have a path. This is good. We tend to line up paths with oak or dark oak leaves though, and we're kind of out of them. We need to find somewhere to do a little top up. Oh, how about there? Yes, this is good. Then we can go along like this. Then before we fill in this side, we might want to think about where we want our enclosures to go. Because I feel like off here would be a good idea. We just need to flatten land and chop trees. There we go. Now I've been thinking about what kind of enclosure might suit this area. Or enclosures, I think we'll do two. But I was considering one of the cutest mobs, foxes. And arctic foxes. I think that's what we're going to do here. They'll need round enclosures, kind of like the others, like that, except they'll need to go down really, really low because I think foxes can jump really high. So maybe the way to go about this is to dig this out as a giant hole. Okay, I did it. We've got a giant ugly pit. I think foxes can jump no more than four or five blocks high, so this should be good. It goes one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll do this one for orange foxes and we can make it look like a mega tiger. Also, we'll decorate this area all around it a little bit better. And I was thinking we could have a sign and call this Fox Lane and have the Arctic foxes here. Ooh, and maybe a statue of a fox. I like that idea. But I think I want a little break from this, so we should actually go find the foxes, which is gonna be a bit of a mission. We'll bring with us a totem, just in case, and then some leads. Oh wait, and I think they breed using berries. Wait, do we not have any berries? Okay, I don't think we own any berries, so we're gonna need to find them. The nearest target is thousands of blocks away, but we should be able to sail most of the way in the ocean. Oh yes, over here. And then we can boat the foxes back. Oh, hello, tiger ahoy. Oh, room portal. Wait. There's a village. Oh, perfect. Wait, oh, there's foxes. Oh my gosh, already. What do we do? We need berries. What is going on here? What is this situation? I have never seen this structure before. It's yours, isn't it? Okay, Um, we need to find the berries to breed the foxes. Oh, there's two in here. Oh, there's more than two. Oh, I see more. A lot more. Ow, ow, ow. I hate these. Now what? is the best way to do this. I sneak over here. Got him. Oh, this one already has berries, I think, or something. Hello? Do you have an emerald? Now to breed you, we need to feed you both. You have my lead. No. I think we should wait to breed another one and then take the babies back. Cause I don't think the adults will ever fully trust us, will you? Oh wait, why do they seem, they seem okay. They're not trying to run away. Maybe this is fine. In that case, we'll take these three with us. Right, are we good? We're going? We're going. Let's roll. On the way back when we were nearly home, we had a bit of an incident where the foxes encountered some wild chickens. They broke the leads, but we managed to recover two of them. I think the baby and one of the parents. So here we are. Oh my gosh, you're sitting. Oh, this is so cute. And this little menace has a feather in his mouth. You killed a few chickens, didn't you? Hmm, you did. So now I've got a few things to make this look like a mega tiger. I think we'll start by making a big tree with a bunch of pods up. And we also have to be careful that nothing in the enclosure lets them jump out. Obviously this tree will be fine. Maybe we'll try another big one here. This one is a lot more overwhelming, but I don't hate it. I do want this to be very foresty. Maybe one more little one. Okay, that's definitely a mega tiger. Then we can add some flowers, some rocks, a whole lot of mushrooms. We'll grow grass. 
And lastly, we'll add some berries and we'll make a little water hole for them. This is looking so cute for them. Okay, we need to get them in their new home. We also breed one more and we're gonna have to breed them a few more times. Wait, you've got my lead. Take the berries. Wait, no, not you. Okay, everyone in here. And then we can go like this and close it up. Oh, look, they're all sleeping together. They love it. Okay, now we will label the enclosure and we can start working on arctic foxes. We'll start by making an enclosure basically the same as the one we already made. Of course, for arctic foxes, we'll be decorating this like a snowy tiger. And we don't have the snow, but that's okay because we have to go get the foxes anyway. And just like the regular tiger, there's a snowy tiger, but it's really far away. I think we have everything we'll need. Oh, but we'll have to repair this a bit. We'll do a little trip to our scaly farm to repair that so that we can get the snow. And with that done, we're ready for another adventure. Hopefully a quick, easy adventure. Wait, this is definitely the wrong way. Off to a great start. Okay, well we're in a snowy tiger and every time I come here I never learn my lesson. I always forget snow boots. I think I read some unverified information that they might spawn more at night. So I think we're gonna let it become night. So far I just keep finding bees and zombies. Oh, <gasps> it's a goat! Oh, we're definitely, oh, there's another one. We're definitely gonna wanna take them to our zoo one day. Okay, now what, do we just sit and wait? A few moments later. Okay, well, nothing so far. Although, you know, I just noticed we're in the world's smallest mega tiger, but I totally forgot something for the fox pen. It's coarse dirt. We need this for our orange fox tiger pen. So I collected some coarse dirt and I also remembered that ferns are a thing. Then we continued looking for arctic foxes. Wait, I think I saw one. There it is. Oh, there's two. Oh, they're staring right at me. And like an absolute dummy, I forgot to bring the berries. We'll just start by getting them on a leash. Oh, you're so beautiful. I think we will need to get down here somewhere. And now we still need to gather some snow and then we can go home. Oh, this is going to be fast. And we actually made it through the ocean and through the nether. You two must have been hot in the nether, huh? And as we come in the zoo, we need to make sure that you two go nowhere near the rabbit enclosure. We're taking the long way. And you can go there. Oh, and we can breed you. We'll get some berries. Berries for you and for you. Now we can finish this whole zone of the zoo. Starting with making improvements to this enclosure and then building the next enclosure and then doing all the decorations in between. This is gonna look way better with some coarse dirt and ferns though. This is starting to look better. We have these guys and their improved tiger. And then in between, I added some lilac gardens and then we've got our arctic foxes over here. Oh, look at them. I got some concrete blocks, so to try and make a little fox statue over here. I have no plan for this and I have no idea if it'll work, but let's say we've got a little white tummy. We'll go eyes here and then the ears were kind of white. Um, I think this will do. He's pretty small and simple. I like his little tail. I think we just need a few more lilacs here and maybe a fence around this part of the zoo. I just remembered to add a little sign at the bottom saying Fox Lane. And then we come up here, I added this little archway just for funsies. And over here we've got a little fenced fox garden. I think that is probably enough zoo things for today. It's looking good though. Oh, maybe we should check it out on the map. We worked on this section, which is now looking like this. It's getting bigger. We love to see it. What should we do next though? We kind of need to analyze Blossom Valley and what it actually needs doing. I feel like our starter island kind of has a lot of funny bits that could be better, but also maybe that's another video problem. Maybe today we just build another cute little house in our viewer village. So far we have seven houses, but there's heaps more room to continue. I think right now this area could do with just a really little house. Something that just fits between this and the trees. Yes, okay, let's do that. This house is gonna be for Lady. Her favorite color is white and her favorite flower is the daisies, which we have plenty of. Okay, I think we are ready. I made the 
this house kind of like a log cabin with an overgrown mossy roof. We just need to add the letterbox sign, which is number eight. And then we have the interior to do, and we've got this little animal pen. Since her favorite color is white, I think we can add a white sheep. I wonder if we actually have any white sheep. I don't think so. Okay, somebody come with me and then we'll make you white. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, wait, I wanna name you Daisy. Like the flower, which is also white. Are you able to come through here? Oh, you are, yay. And we'll grab a name tag. Daisy the sheep. Then for the interior, I kinda of like what we've got going on in here. It's a very simple shape, but we've got these glass doors opening up to a balcony. I haven't done this before, but I feel like it's cute. So I'm gonna grab a few more things and decorate the house. And we're done. We've got a bed, a crafting table, a storage chest, and some decorations. We managed to add a little to our viewer village, but we also managed to do quite a lot on the zoo over here. I love our foxes so much. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!